Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Joe Gas here. Actually, this is my second iPhone SDK tutorial. I'm gonna tell you guys two ways to hide the keyboard in iPhone SDK. For example, this. All right. Here I can highlight everything I want to do, delete it, whatever. All right, I can write, and then this done button up here, right when I press that. Done button, right when I press the done button, the keyboard hides. Sorry, it just lagged a little bit there. And then another one, done key. Um, Okay, I'm right here. Uh, there's a little text box. I could just write whatever, and then there's a done button down there. When I press that, it hides as well. And Xcode file new project. And the first one I'm going to be showing you is actually programming a done button on the keyboard. I'm going to name this Done Key. All right, save. And I'm making a view-based application. Go to my nib files, done key view control dot xib, and I'm just going to drag in a text field and maybe try to get that centered up a bit. Like that. Alright, file, save, and then quit interface builder. Now we're going to want to go into our classes, view control, view controller dot h, and <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is copy this code in. Um, right after, right after this curly brackets, press enter two times. And what you're going to want to do is dash, open parentheses, IB action, close parentheses, space, end with no capital, and then text with a capital T, semicolon. Go into our dot m and then uh let's see if I could find it. Right after did receive memory warning, right after that bracket, press enter um two times, dash open parentheses, I B action, close parentheses, space, and text space, open curly bracket, enter, close curly bracket. It's that simple, guys. Now, what you're going to want to do is go up to here, build, and then just click build. Save all. And then go into our nib files, and then open up the done key view controller .xib once more. And if we highlight here, we'll get all these different events. And there's going to be a did end on exit. What you're going to have to do is drag that to the files owner. And then it should say end text. Just click that. File. Oh, and one more thing. <clears throat> Go into our attributes. And on the text input traits, right here it says the return key. We want to change that to done so it actually has the look of the done key. Unless you want to keep the return key and then when you press return it hides the keyboard. But done looks more nice because it actually says what it's going to do. So change that and then file save. Quit Interface Builder, Build and Go, and look at our app. I can type in whatever I want. We have Done Key right here. Press that. Easily hidden. All right. <clears throat> okay. Very easy. Now, for the one that's going to take a little bit more time, what I'm going to do is delete the one I just made. Go into Xcode, File, New Project, make another view base. I'm going to do this name done, done button. All right, save that to my desktop as well. All right, now what I want to go, nib files, done button, view controller, and do this. I'm going to want to, I like to change this to a white drag in a text field, text view, I meant to say, and I'll just change this to text with three dots, and then maybe go into a Windows views and bars, add a navigation bar, and then add a bar button, and 
Now what we could do is we can name this hide keyboard right there or we could do something else. Let me add the bar button, go into our identifier and change that to done as well. Now this, trust me guys, this isn't doing any coding. This is just changing the look of it to look like what it actually does, okay? So you don't have to do this or you don't have to change the return key to look like the done button. Just to keep that in mind so I don't confuse anyone. Alright, now we're pretty much done with this. We're going to want to file and save that. Quit Interface Builder, that simple. But the coding isn't, well, it's sort of simple. I'm going to right click, add new file, Objective C class. Next, I'm just going to name this Note with a capital N and View with a capital V. You don't have to do this, this is just what I'm doing to make it a little bit more organized. Okay. Now, um, in our noteview.h, uh, double clicked it, in our noteview.h or .m, let's do, um, after this, press enter and do a dash space open parentheses ib action, close parentheses, hide with a capital H, K with a capital K space, curly bracket, um, and you're going to want to enter twice and then do a open normal bracket. I don't know what the name of that one is. My capital T for text and then space resign um, resign first responder closed bracket and then um, and then a um, semicolon enter twice and then close curly bracket and then just backspace on that then go to the note view dot h and then you will have this right here ns object all that just delete that and right here you're gonna wanna put ui text text view space oh text view space, open curly bracket, enter, IB, outlet, um, and just go on there and press tab, IB, outlet, space, UI, text, view, uh, view, space, star, my, text with the capital T again, um, you know, your, your curly, per, um, I'm getting mixed up with all these words, um, per semicolon, that's what it is, enter, uh, close curly, and then enter again, dash, space, open parentheses, I, B, action, close parentheses, hi, with a capital H, and K with a capital K, semicolon, and that's it. And then just enter at end. Easy as that, guys. Now, we just have to build right here. Save all. And then go into our new files again. Done view controller dot XIB. And you'll have this. Go into our inspector and change this to note with a capital N, note view. And then you'll get your actions and outlets that we entered. Note view, note with a capital N, view with a capital V. And then on the my text, simply drag my text to the text view and drag the hide K to the done button. File, save, quit, interf uh, quit interface builder, build and go. Then, look at this, we could delete that, type in Joe Gas, whatever, and right, and right when we press done, keyboard hides. It is that simple, guys. We have the done key, and we have the done button. So, there's a way to program, uh, to hide, two different ways to hide your keyboard in Xcode. Um, so have fun with this, guys. I know I missed one, which is tapping a UI view to hide the keyboard. Maybe I'll go over that in another tutorial, but for now, these are just the only two. 
Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos like this because I'm going to be doing a few more iPhone SDK videos and have a nice day.